external world is a mirror of our internal world. Mm. So if your boss is treating you under appreciating you or your husband is doing that or your kids are doing that or whatever you do, like you attract the, the you know, different kind of guy, but doing exactly the same thing to you, cheat on you or, you know, whatever it is what if it's not about those guys that you attracted? What about, uh, what if it's not about the boss? That's how they treat you, but how are you treating yourself? How, why are you allowing this? What are you supposed to learn from this experience or what kind of different decision or choice that you got to allow yourself to make differently this time through these experiences? And I think, I just, I think there's also one thing that a lot of people are not fully and completely aware of. Um, and this is not going to make sense logically, but I also believe that when we keep attracting or being those situations where maybe we're being looked down and taken advantage or just challenges or, or patterns that we don't like, and but we keep being in there, maybe, just maybe, curiosity, right? Maybe it's because it feels familiar. Maybe even though you don't like it, but it's what you know up to this point of your life. And what sometimes when we want to step outside of what we don't know, which is just freedom, just peace, just happiness, even though we logically want it, but there's internally you're going to be like, whoa, if I have that, what's going to happen? Like there, my mom has this belief that she doesn't really allow herself to celebrate happiness or be too happy mm -hmm. because she believes that if I'm too happy, horrible things are going to follow. <laughs> yeah. 